You're right. I'm gonna call the cops and explain what happened. Freeze, Marvin. Already going. <laughs> Put him in a headlock. Don't pretend like you didn't impersonate Santa Claus and break into someone's house and try to be the Grinch. Yo, what's up, Charming Gang? We're gonna be checking out the SML movie, Jeffy the Sketch Artist. I assume it means sketch artist as in he's gonna be working with the police. W working with 5-0, Jeffy? Like, bro, you flip sides. You becoming a rat? Hold still, Danny. <laughs> hold still, Danny. What's he doing? I said hold still. I've been holding still. And done. Oh, he's drawing a picture, it's duh. A masterpiece. I present to you, Daddy Raph. Daddy Raph, okay. Yeah. Not bad. I'm drawing my face, not really my body. I will now draw mommy's face on a silver bag gorilla, a making sweet love to a squirrel. Okay, I don't know what the hell he's driving. I'm gonna draw him, but okay. Breaking news. Breaking news. The police yep. station is looking for a police working with Jeffy. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year. Okay. If you're good at drawing. Come down to the police department. I'll work with five zero. Fifty thousand dollars a year to draw pictures. <laughs> Marvin, Jeffy could do that job. I'll work with the police. People. I'm sorry to interrupt, mommy, but if you were to have a wiener, how big would it be? What? Six I inches. I probably draw a silverback gorilla's wiener to keep the theme going. So I six inches. They are. Should I think I they're like. I'm gonna Google it. I don't Jeffy, think you should Google you that. <laughs> you don't need an image years. search That's that. Crazy! I know it's so much money just to draw pictures. A silverback gorilla's wiener is only three to six centimeters long. That means my wiener is barely bigger than a silverback gorilla. Three to six centimeters? I talked mine at six and a half centimeters. I don't believe that. That's not true. Do you want to draw pictures for the cops? <laughs> More kind of picture. All you'd have to do is draw pictures of people without animal bodies, just normal people, and they'll pay you two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. That's a lot of money. But first, let me add the three to six centimeter hog. To this gorilla. No, There's no, no way hog, it's Jeffy. three to six. I need to draw a picture of just me so you can show the cops how good you are. Okay, Danny, but this squirrel was about to get the business. All right, look, just draw a normal picture of me with my clothes on, okay? All right, Daddy, squirrel humping or no squirrel humping? No, no squirrel, squirrel humping. humping. Just a of me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is he actually going to do just the and picture? Done. All right, let's see it. What do you think about that? Nice. That pretty lame if you ask me. Okay. I'm giving you some udders or a stoma. That looks so good, Jeffy. Yes, Jeffy. This is exactly what the cops are going to want you to draw every single time. That every looks time. just yes, like him. People, no animals. Just like that. Just like this. Just like that. Okay. I got it, Danny. Locked in my brain. All right, let's go back to the cop office. <laughs> Locked in his peanut-sized brain. That, that's what I said. No, you said cop office. Cop office, police station. It's the same thing. Cop let's office? Police station. <laughs> show him the drawing. Come on. Right. I have never heard anyone call it the cop so, office. Uh, this is my drawing of a bad guy what do you think it's pretty good right? terrible it's crap awful oh, go oh, away god these people suck <laughs> Next person. jeffy get in here I'm nervous. jeffy come on come, come on, on jeffy don't be nervous Mr. chief you even colored it jeffy he's really good at drawing look at the drawing he did of me well wow, that's pretty good yeah he colors him too that'll come in handy exactly he's hired wait he's hired already yeah we're pretty desperate for sketch artists jeffy you got the job yay yo two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to essentially just draw pictures man like i should have went to art school what did i spend my time in business school doing bro i'm sure that's not the actual pay but if that was the pay i will drop everything i know i will watch all the youtube videos of how to draw best believe i will become a sketch artist you know do a little side job and make a quarter of a million good men i'm on my way to your wealth so when does he start right now oh, oh wow well all right jeffy just do your job and come home when you're done all right Daddy. yeah all do right, a good jeffy. job sit right there and use this sketch pad to draw the suspect based on the victim's description Send and in no, victims. no okay, squirrel yes, humping. I have the first victim here. <laughs> Ma'am, tell him what happened. All right, I'm ready. Well, there was a man with a big old cowboy hat on, and he <laughs> lassoed me up, tied me to the train track so the train would run me over and kill me. What kind of Tom and Jerry oh, ass villain? A big cowboy hat. <laughs> All right, think I got him. Oh, no, come. Well, he has the cowboy hat on. I, I guess that's him. Marvin did say draw it just like that. Yes, that's him. Okay, I'll go get him. He I did say Jeffy just like that. Job. He did? Yes, the police chief loved Jeffy's drawing of me. That's amazing, Marvin. I know. I love that Jeffy actually got a job. Oh, gosh. You have no idea what you unleashed. Let's just hope Jeffy doesn't mess this up. Please, Marvin, you're yep. <laughs> murder and kidnapping. What are you talking about? Oh, don't pretend like you didn't just tie a woman to railroad tracks like you're in some kind of Western movie. Right? Yeah, well, we have all the proof we need. Let's let the judge decide. <laughs> oh, Jeffy. You? you got your dad locked up and Rose believed it. He was with you. Today. <laughs> Of a most brutal crime. What's good, Pooby? Marvin, 
You are being accused of lassoing a woman like a cowboy, tying her up, and then placing her on the railroad tracks in hope that she would be run over <sighs> by a train. An innocent man. How do you plead? Not guilty. You better call Saul, bro. Not guilty, you say. <laughs> Very interesting. Well, I suppose I'll let you go if you can explain this. This drawing that our professional and very overpaid sketch artist made of the suspect based on the victim's description. Jeffy is the biggest mm -hmm. idiot I know. Explain it. He literally drew Marvin. My son made. He's the police sketch artist. He made a mistake and drew me. Well, Marvin. Based on this sketch looking exactly like you. And that's not even real evidence. No other evidence brought into court. <laughs> exactly, no I other have evidence. No choice but to find you guilty. Wow. And sentence you to 30 days in the county jail. 30 days isn't bad, but and I wouldn't do one day. Goes the <laughs> guilty! <laughs> If I didn't do the crime, I'm not spending one day in jail. I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, yeah, I hear that all the time. I'm not guilty. You saw that sketch. It was spot on. It looked just like you. Listen, my son is a sketch artist, and he accidentally drew a picture of me. No, no, no. Your son knows he'd get fired if he drew a sketch of the wrong person. No, he doesn't. He drew me. He doesn't know that. He's just on you. He doesn't need to be getting out of this. Listen, please, I don't want to be in prison. No, you should just do your 30 days and be happy that you only got 30 days for trying to kill a lady with a train. That's brutal. I did not do that. Look, don't do the crime if you can't do the time. All right, man. Is what you should think about. Don't drop the soap. Crime. crime doing equals time doing. Hard crimes. There you go, Brooklyn. Times. What a speech. The, the time okay. What happens when you do crime? <laughs> You're doing too much. Don't, don't just just stop. Because you should think about <laughs> the time before you do this. Just stop, man. You're doing way too much. <laughs> no, please let me out of here. I can't spend thirty days. Is Bubbles gonna be in there? All right, Jeffy. Good okay, job nope. on that last one. Here's your next victim, ma'am. Tell him what happened. So I was cleaning the house with this is Goodman's maid. So when I the Windex, I realized we are out of Windex. So I go downstairs to grab some lemon pledge, and then I see this man climbing through the window. It was Goodman. And he's trying to steal things and shot him in his sack. Okay, never mind. Santa Claus hat, huh? See, see, Santa Claus hat. And a big shack. Yeah, see, see. Oh, please don't draw a ball. Is this your okay. Man? See, see, that's my mom with the Santa hat. Oh, no, not Marvin again. Thank you. Oh. Like, bro, how can it possibly be Marvin? Days in jail, Marvin? He just got out of jail. <laughs> well, the judge convicted you, so obviously there was enough evidence. No, baby, listen. Jeffy's a sketch artist, and for some reason he drew a picture of me wearing a cowboy Because hat. you told him to. to based on Jeffy's photo. You said to draw it Marvin, just like that. that. So it doesn't happen again. You're right. I'm going to call the cops and explain what happened. Freeze, Marvin. Already <laughs> going. <laughs> You're under arrest. Put him in a headlock. Don't pretend like you didn't impersonate Santa Claus and break into someone's house and try to be the Grinch. What? Don't want me, mister. You're going to jail. Wait, no. Oh, God, and she believed it once no, again. No, 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 no. <laughs> Marvin, I am very disappointed to see your face in my courtroom again. Oh, bro, you better sue this court once you finally prove hmm? your innocence. I didn't do anything. Well, we'll see about that, won't we? You are being accused of breaking into a house in a Santa Claus hat. Like Santa Claus. Why would he do and this? Instead of leaving jolly good gifts for the little boys and girls, <sighs> stealing their valuables. Like I said, I'm not even going to do one day in jail if I didn't commit the crime. And Marvin already did 30. So once you finally prove your innocence, finally get the police to realize that Jeffy is essentially setting you up, sue them. This is America. You can sue anybody for anything that you want. And now you actually have a reason. They're going to have to give me at least a million dollars for each day that I spent in jail. I'm probably not going to get that much, but I'm going to try. How do you plea against this grinching? Not guilty. Not guilty. Very cute. Too bad I have this. And that's enough to put him in jail. 60 days? Come on. 60 days this time? That's two months. Fun in there. Listen, I didn't do anything. I oh, promise. gosh. You promise? Yes. Oh, well, in that case, I guess I'll let you out. Wait, really? No, you idiot. I'm not <laughs> stupid. I have a GED. I wasn't born yesterday. I have a GED, <laughs> he says. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jeffy, you've been doing a great job so far. Oh, no. Okay, here's your next victim. Tell him what happened, Dolphin. Well, I was just riding my Harley, and then I pulled into a gas station to get some hubba-bubba no chewing arms. gum and some white powdered donuts, because 
I really like those. And I left my keys in my Harley because I didn't think anyone had the balls to try to steal it from me. But then I look out the window and I see this guy wearing sunglasses and he jumped on my Harley and just drove off with it. I didn't really get a chance to see what he was Marvin looked. with sunglasses. Oh yeah, that's definitely him. I'd know those sunglasses anywhere. They're only seeing the accessories. <laughs> Marvin, All right. you deserve those 60 days in jail. If you really did try to impersonate Santa Claus, Terrible wife. Steal. Doesn't Baby, believe me. Are you kidding me? Thank I'm you. I'm actually doing these crimes. I've been next to you the whole time. It's because Jeff He's a sketch artist, and he keeps drawing me as all these criminals, and it's the only evidence the judge has, so he keeps arresting me. Oh no, Marvin, we have to fix that in case it happens again. You said that last time, girl. You keep arresting me, and you have to tell them that it's Jeffy doing fake drawings. <laughs> Another headlock. For stealing a dog headlock. What? Well, you did it. <laughs> For stealing a Harley, bro. Marvin, Yo. why am I seeing your face in my courtroom again? Did 60 days in jail not teach you your lesson? What do I have to do to rehabilitate you? I didn't do it. You need to find more evidence. That's what you need to do. If you did not do it, then explain this. <laughs> and another <laughs> drawn picture. He's drawing me. Marvin, this is the face of a hardened criminal. He does Someone look tough. No <laughs> he looks he look looks pretty gangster. <laughs> you must think you're a real cool dude. He looks pretty cool, man. Because you stole a motorcycle from a dolphin. Sunglasses and a motorcycle? Office. Why would a dolphin be driving a motorcycle? I don't know, Marvin. It's not my job to understand and see animals and their means of transportation. It is my job to convict criminals like you. And you're and doing a terrible job. So, <laughs> based on this drawing and the complete lack of remorse on his face, I sentence you to 90 days. 90 days. And for every no. you commit from now on, we will increase your sentence by six months. No to way. Hopefully teach you a lesson. Oh no. no. I'm breaking out of jail. I can't do it. <laughs> It's prison break. You must really oh, like it in me. Poor Which guy. I don't. I have one question for you. Okay. You're falsely imprisoning me. Mm -hmm. So that means the real people that are doing those crimes are out there causing more crimes. Oh, I have a feeling that the real criminal is right here. <laughs> He's such an idiot. You, 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 my little criminal. Yes, you are. You and your GED. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jeffy, here's your next victim. Ma'am, tell him what Cody's happened. Cody's mom. Well, I didn't see what the guy looked like, but here's what happened. I was walking to the grocery store to buy tampons. Oh. Heavy flow. And then all of a sudden, this man walked up to me, and he smacked me in the face with a chicken, and he stole my purse. Hold it right there, ma'am. Is Marvin again? Is him? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, I didn't see what he looked like, but that rubber chicken is very familiar. He choking that chicken. Hey, Marvin. In six months this time. Three days in jail, Marvin? It was a lonely three months for me. Listen, I was the one that was in jail for three months. I'm the one that was lonely. Weren't you supposed to tell the police, I don't have Rose? They're gonna arrest me again. I just know it. Listen, this is what we should do. Go to the police station and just tell Jeffy to stop drawing. Please, just tell him to stop drawing. Hey, Marvin, you're yep. <laughs> Headlock. No, no, no. You beat a woman with a rubber chicken and you stole the purse. <laughs> what? No, go, 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 okay, go, okay. Go, 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 Marvin, Marvin. And Rose Marvin, always Marvin, believes it. Marvin, 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 Marvin. Marvin, Marvin. Oh. Marvin, Marvin. Poor Marvin. 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 Oh, Marvin. There's some criminals really happy Marvin. right now that they haven't what? been busted. Billy Marvin, assault with a rubber chicken. It's creative. You steal a woman's <laughs> purse. I just don't know what to do with you, Marvin. <laughs> I gave you 30 days in jail. It I'm innocent, walk. man. <laughs> 60 days. Big whoop. I think the funniest power, part about all of this is that Rose is always believing each and every time that her husband that she has seen the second he comes out of jail has been committing these crimes, girl. Like, weren't you supposed to go down to the police station and get Jeffy to either quit his job or tell the police what's going on? Like, you would think she would be able to do that. But no, I don't know why you married her, Marvin. She doesn't seem to be capable of anything. She's worse than Jeffy. No, let me not say that. <laughs> 90 days. <sighs> That's a week in Marvin's world. 90 let days. Me ask you a question, Marvin. Do you enjoy jail? Hell no. Do you have a good time in jail. I hate jail. jail. Let me check. Hold on, Marvin. Let me see how jail. Oh, wow. <laughs> the jail is right there. Oh, I'm Marvin. I love being in jail. Lock the door. Lock the door. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could stay here forever. Is that you, Marvin? Is that what you say in jail to all of your jail buddies? Answer me, Marvin. Answer me. 
answer me when I'm speaking to you. No, I don't like jail. This man is giving up. <laughs> He's just giving up, man. <laughs> you know what, Marvin? I'm going to drop the ball. One year in jail. One year. Two? two? It doesn't matter. Mm. It's all the same to Marvin. Two years he of your life. Jail. You know uh -uh. What, Marvin? I'm gonna do a little reverse psychology here. Ten minutes in jail because apparently you love it so much that okay. being there is a reward. <laughs> yeah, I love but jail. I better not see you back in my court. <laughs> ten minutes case. only. Ten minutes? <laughs> only ten minutes? There you go. Thank you. There you go. Close the door. I'm not gonna lock it. I think you get off on that, you sick freak. What? <sighs> Don't escape. Ten minutes, I can leave. Just wait ten minutes, bro. Okay, Jeff, there you go. Mad about this one. Somebody robbed my wife. Honey, tell him what happened. Okay, there was a little redhead girl who was selling Girl Scout cookies. So I gave her a hundred dollars, and she ran away with my change. <laughs> she didn't give me my cookies. How's a little girl faster than you? Something? Yes, there was a Girl Scout. Oh, I think I got that part. Is this her? Yes, yes, that's, <laughs> that's not even a little girl. Messy in my cookies. Come on, Marvin. Come on, that's not even a little that's girl. Like ten minutes, Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> Headlock. Oh, Come on, Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> That's horrible. Crazy, crazy life, man. That vein on your head, bro. You stressed. He's extra stressed. Golly, Pooby. <laughs> Look at his face, man. Look at his face. Judge. All right, this time you should be able to tell the difference. A little girl is the person that robbed Brooklyn's wife, and it was Brooklyn's wife. So you think he would like either have known more about it or at least known it wasn't Marvin. Like I said, bro, once I prove my innocence, I'm suing everybody. Brooklyn, you're getting sued. Judge Pooby, you're getting sued. Um, who else? Rose, I'm gonna sue you as well because you didn't help me. Everybody is getting sued. I'm like Oprah. <laughs> you okay? I don't think he good, bro. You don't know what to do with you, Marvin. He's stressed. Marvin. Here we are again, Marvin. Just me and you. Another crime. You're guilty. A little Another girl. Crime, it's you. <laughs> See, Marvin, I just couldn't figure you out. But now, I think I finally have. Oh, you're doing the math it now. Was jail that you loved so much. It was me. You're in love with me. That's why you keep doing these crimes. So that you can come here and see me. He ain't well, doing the math, Marvin, man. Since you're in love with me, I can no longer preside. You forgot, you forgot to carry the one, man. So, my final <laughs> sentence to you is a life sentence. A life? I'm sending you to Alcatraz. What? Yes, that's right, Marvin. We opened it up just for you. Your own little playground. We for stealing $100? Away from civilized society. <laughs> no. If you escape, there are shark-infested <laughs> waters. So you will spend the rest of your life at Alcatraz. He going to Alcatraz, man. <laughs> Shoot me now. To your family. Just kill me now, bro. With him. A life sentence. Let's go say bye to your family. All right, make it quick. That was fast, Marvin. Oh my yeah, gosh. Really, he's going to be spending the rest of his life Rose. on Alcatraz. Whereas we're going to call it Marvin Traz. What? <laughs> Listen, baby, there's one favor I need from you. Just one. He's in love with the judge. <gasps> All right, everyone just shush. Does she just believe everything that isn't Marvin? <laughs> <laughs> right, you know my son Jeffy was hired as the new sketch artist at the cop office. Cop office? Police station. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cop office. Right, you notice that all of his drawings look like me. Well, yeah, because he did all the crimes. No, no, I didn't. Listen, please just do me one favor. I'll go to Alcatraz for the rest of my life. Just do me one favor. Go up to Jeffy and describe a criminal that looks nothing like me, like different skin color, completely different looks, and see what yeah. your drawing looks like. Draw a black guy. Black okay, Marvin. I'll try it. Okay, Jeffy, this time I'm going to describe someone to you, and I need you to draw him. All right, what do you got for me? Why, why have you already started drawing? I haven't described it yet. <laughs> Keep going. Okay, well, he's a really large black man with one eye, and he's in a wheelchair, and he has 11 scars on his face. Ooh, All right, I think damn. I Is this him? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. You well, think it was well, Marvin? Well, Marvin, it appears there's been a huge misunderstanding. Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> make up for all of that jail time where you were falsely imprisoned. A million we dollars. willing to offer you... This small chocolate frosty from Wendy. I'll have to air that it that that cord out. My lunch, but I am now offering it to you. <laughs> I'm airing the cord <laughs> out. A frosty? Like is a frosty? <laughs> well, I suppose I'll eat it myself. Then. No, I want the frosty. I'll take it. Better than nothing. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Yeah, Marvin, I feel really bad. I probably should have put that together. Bro. Like, how are you doing those crimes if you were? Save your apologies. Table? Give me money. Oh, I'm not apologizing. It's a hundred percent your fault. What? Because you said to make every drawing look just like this. You did and say I'm that. Clarifying. Okay, just like this. <laughs> 
You said it just like that. And you said it every time. So every time I made the drawing look just like this, this is your fault. You did say that, Marvin. Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot Jeffy's an idiot. You forgot. Give me a hug, Jeffy. That is your fault. You, really? you forgot. Yeah, come, come here. Yeah, come smack him real good. No kidding. No kidding. <laughs> Stop it! I should probably arrest you for that. He's 18. Oh, okay. He is 18. He can square up. <laughs> so in total, Marvin spent 180 days in jail, if I have that correctly. First was 30, then 60, and then 90. Yeah, 180. That is essentially almost half a year. That's only two and a half days off from being half a year, bro. He spent half a year in jail for crimes he didn't commit. Nah, I'm suing somebody or I'm airing the court out. It's something has to go. But don't forget to subscribe like share this video without further ado that was it my name is prince hawkham stay charmed my friends